The Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, presents the 2019 Maritime Industry Stakeholder Awards Night. It's a night to meet maritime stars. Date Saturday, 18th January, in venue, the Grand Ballroom, Eco Hotels, Lagos. Red carpet starts from 5 p.m. The 2018 Maritime Industry Awards Night was big. This year, it will be bigger. Admission is strictly by invitation. Mm -hmm. This is the weekend of the Massa Stakeholders Awards Night. By the way, it's not just for stakeholders. Actually, for the staff to celebrate all their hard work and achievements so far. Don't worry. In case you do not get to attend the event, we'll be giving you updates, subsequent edition of the program. So, don't worry about it. Is that all I'll be giving to you on the program today? Nope. We'll be bringing you a visit to the GMDSS base at Takwabe. What is the GMDSS? We'll get to find out. The DG Nimasa had a session with media people to talk to them about achievements from 2019 and way for 2020. He also had a session with us too. All this we'll be sharing with you on the program Nimasa this week. My name is Cordelia Obe and I welcome you. Introducing the new face of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and safety agency, NIMASA. We are choosing the direction for maritime and regulated industry for a better, bigger, and more economically stable Nigeria. Evolved to serve you better. We are NIMASA. New face, rejuvenated service. NIMASA, changing the times in your favor. One of the major functions of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency is safety of lives at sea. And this is all under the SOLAS Convention. The SOLAS Convention is simply safety of life at sea. In its implementation, NEMASA working according to the provisions of the IMO signed up for the implementation of the Global Maritime Safety System, GMDSS. The system is to enhance communication for vessels, particularly those in distress. NEMASA has the GMDSS station at the Regional Maritime Rescue Coordination Center in Kirikiri, while six other base stations are located at strategic points from Oneh in River State up to Badagri in Lagos State. One of them is also located at the popular Takwa Bay. NEMASA management, led by the DG NEMASA, Dr. Daku Peterside, paid a working visit to this particular base. The base station of Global Maritime Distress Safety System, GMDSS, in Takwa Bay is one of the six located at various strategic locations across the country. The base station is located just by the Atlantic Ocean to enhance communication between ships on the Atlantic and land. The team undertook a detailed inspection of the facility from the Navtech section, which will be the hub for instant ship-to-shore communication before it's amplified and transmitted with the aid of the MOST to the Regional Maritime Rescue Coordination Center located in Kirikiri. The entire Global Maritime Distress and Safety System, GMDSS, is well secured with the presence of these security operatives. After the inspection, the NEMASA DG noted that the progress made so far of this project, which started over five years ago, was mainly due to the commitment of President Muhammad Buhari and the supervising ministry. I'm very glad to say that as I got here today, I've seen remarkable improvement. Am I satisfied with where we are? No. But is there a remarkable improvement? Absolutely, yes. A lot of remarkable improvement. And I am convinced that if we continue with this piece of work, by the end, this very first quarter of the year, this project will be delivered. 
While commenting on the importance of the project, the Mass DG laid emphasis on the importance for vessels in distress to be able to communicate seamlessly with land where support can readily come from. The bigger picture for us is to ensure to provide adequate security and guarantee safety for either vessels trading with our coastal waters or vessels passing through our coastal waters or vessels calling at our port. Those two projects are progressed at a pace, as we have seen. From the inspection of the GMDSS base station at Takwa Bay, Dr. Dakuku and his entourage proceeded to the Regional Maritime Rescue Coordination Center, RMRCC, at Kirikiri. This facility coordinates the sea to land communication for vessels in the entire Western Central African region. We are not going to be sea blind anymore. You know, we'll be able to see everybody and then be able to um, ensure that we uh, perform our role as a regulatory agency and as, the, as Nigeria's Maritime Administration. I wish all our stakeholders a happy new year and say to you, remember the reason for the day. If it's not safe, please don't do it. And say to you, it's going to be your best year ever. A year of limitless opportunities. A year that you live to remember for what you will accomplish, especially in the maritime sector. And happy new year. You're watching Limassa this week, and I say thank you very much for watching. Now, the year is just starting, 2020. It's time for us to actually have like a quick recap of some of the things that happened in 2019. You know, get to set records straight, make things clearer, and so on. That was exactly what the DG Limassa and its management team did when they had a session with members of the press at the corporate headquarters of Limassa recently. The Director General of NIMASA, Dr. Dakuku Peter Said, the agency's Executive Director, Admin and Finance, Dr. Bashir Jamo, and Engineer Rotimi Fashaki, who is the Executive Director of Operations and other directors of the agency, were on hand to engage members of the media present. Just as you would expect, there were lots of questions these gentlemen of the press wanted answers to, so they had some satisfaction when the NIMASA DG started talking about achievements of the agency in the past year. In the past two years, we have given out more COC than we have given out in the previous three years. And the reason is that we are beginning to pay a lot more attention to what the issues are, why people can pass our COC exams. We've also uh, enhanced the quality of our COC certificates. Now, our COCs are verifiable online. So if you tender a Nigerian COC, anywhere in the world. They don't need to come down to Nigeria or even write to us. They can go to all, can go online, check our website, verify whether that certificate is original or not. Then in terms of enforcement of capital, that's one area um, before now that seems to be neglected. In 2016, uh, we boarded a total of uh, 564 capital but in 2018, um, we boarded 1,035 cabotage vessels. Now, I don't know if you see the difference in terms of percentage. 584, 1,035. We doubled the number of cabotage vessels we boarded. Now, what happened is that enforcement may not be the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal for us is compliance. You can do your enforcement forever, and you're not getting able to comply. And so we have chosen to use mixed tool to fight to achieve 100% compliance. Enforcement is one of our numerous tools. Okay, you heard all that, but he had so much to say. And the Nimasa This Week team also caught up with him for a one-on-one -on -one session to share some of this thing with us again. perspective, how would you rate the major activities or achievements made in 2019? We started 2019 with the 
Nigerian Maritime Industry Forecast. Try to give stakeholders an idea of what we expect to play out in 2019. The fact that we're going to have growth, uh, aside from the fact that we're going to have growth, that there is need for government to tackle the issue of insecurity because indeed it has become um, a, a major challenge in the maritime space. We also identified early the need to make a lot of investment in infrastructure and the urgent need to support our ship owners or ship operators acquire greater vessels to make them competitive. We quickly started consultation towards the development of a marine litter action plan, you recall, um, last year. We initiated um, what is called the Maritime Sector Master Plan. Um, that, again, is work. We try to move as fast as we can to domesticate six major IMO instruments which Nigeria ratified earlier. We ultimately convened the Global Maritime Security Conference in October, which had delegates from 80 countries, over 2,000 persons meet um, in Abuja to discuss maritime security, all dimensions of maritime security, the nature, the precise nature of maritime security, and what is the way forward to develop a roadmap which led to the Abuja Declaration. And I think it's about the most successful event which has been acknowledged by the IMO Secretary General and the international shipping community. But in between, a lot of things were accomplished. The call that Abuja MOU, which is the original MOU for West and Central Africa, declared Nigeria as number one country in port state control. It was, uh, Nigeria boarding over 600 vessels calling at our various ports uh, with identified 13% deficiency, which is uh, the, the bare minimum, meaning that Nigerian maritime ecosystem is safe for vessels to trade. Recall also that during the period, um, we created employment for over 7,000 seafarers. That's the highest in recent times. And within the period too, the IMO declared Nigeria as having the second highest tonnage in Africa after Liberia. Liberia is an open region, to remind you. Um, and that again is heartwarming. And so within the period, we have had major accomplishments. So 2019 is a year of achievements. I can reel out 10 other important achievements we made in 2019. It's also in 2019, we got approval of Mr. President to disburse the CVFF and we're quickly, urgently reviewing the guidelines so that we support our seafarers support rather ship owners. So on all dimensions, we, I think that we did great things, things that have been very impactful in the sector. But we're not going to rest on our own. We're not even satisfied. We think that there's so much to do. Let me take it back a bit to one that made um, major headlines and for stakeholders, they didn't really find it very funny when they talked about suspension of cabotage waivers and so on. That made the news 2019. What was the progress and what is the uh, hope for it in 2020? Within the year under review 2019, we rolled out a five-year waiver, waiver cessation plan for cabotage. Um, the idea is that from the year 2023-2024, we will not grant waiver in many respects in the cabotage regime, whether in ship building, whether in ship ownership or ship flagging or uh, foreign seafarers working um, within our coastal waters. So we signpost that, that that's where we're headed. Uh, government ruled, we got the approval of the Federal Ministry of Transport, we ruled out the program. We said by 2021, certain categories of vessels will be banned from being imported in the country. 2022, 2023 is a phased program. Uh, and for our seafarers too, um, we have also made it clear that nobody will be granted any form of waiver, no consideration for waiver application. We're building the new cabotage compliance strategy. Recall that two, three years back, we wrote out the new cabotage compliance strategy, which outlaws the granting of waiver for some categories of seafarers, except uh, captains, chief officers, chief engineers. But this time, we've taken it 
a bit more further that between 2023 will phase out the way the changes have been severely abused. So the Nigerians indeed can maximize benefit of the cabotage regime and we can build capacity in country. It's good for us for national interest, it's good for us for security, it's good for us for global commerce, it's good for us uh, not just in employment generation too, but uh, for wealth creation. So Nigerians indeed can benefit from uh, the natural endowment God himself or nature uh, gives. Let's come back to something that made a lot of uh, talking points for you for 2019 security. Talking about it everywhere and any time you have the opportunity, then we had the Global Maritime Security Conference, all that gave birth to the Abuja Declaration. From that point till now, have we had any major improvement? Have you noticed any difference? What has happened is that we've not fully deployed under the Deep Blue Project. We are working closely with the Nigerian Navy. They own a number of assets already. And we've identified um, a triangular area around uh, the offshore. And we have, working with the Navy, increased patrol in that area and focused uh, our intelligence in that area. But if you notice too, most of the recent occurrences are outside Nigerian waters because Greater man of Nigerian waters, there is greater presence of security agencies in Nigerian waters. Right now, the criminals are applying their trade um, offshore Lome, offshore Kotonu, and outside Nigerian waters. But mind you, we are part of a greater community called the Gulf of Guinea region. When something happens in any part of the Gulf of Guinea region, the temptation is for the international community to focus on Nigeria. We are the biggest economy here, the biggest player, and um, so we are also working to strengthen regional frameworks, especially regional operations. So what has happened is that uh, there's a spike in the region. There's a spike in the region in terms of there's a upward movement of number of incidences uh, at the regional level. But all of this is being tracked. Um, we're tracking. We're finding what's going on. Um, we are also establishing more presence. Um, with our already existing assets. We may not have deployed the new assets. But one thing is clear, we have remained focused on tackling maritime insecurity and criminality within our waterways. I don't think the country has ever been this coordinated and made it a national priority to tackle it. And we're getting support from the highest level of government. You see, for I was one major thing from last year. Did it it did. It did. The C4I has done two things for us. Um, one, it has helped us monitor trend. It has helped us preempt. Uh, we've also noticed vessels that embark on suspicious activities uh, behave in a strange manner. Vessels that put off their AIS often. Vessels that have been. We now have history, a historical profile of vessels. So vessels that have been involved in some criminal activities in the past. So we can now track them, monitor them and follow up. So it has helped us keep a data of what vessels did what in the past and vessels that need to be monitored. And we have identified patterns. So we also, patterns may change, but we have identified patterns, so we're monitoring patterns. Again, um, apart from that, it keeps us monitor on ongoing basis, live activities of uh, vessels within our maritime space as well as other actors, not just vessels. One of the power uh, PSE, the, the small aircraft that they use. So we're monitoring them. And whenever an incident happens, we are able to go back in time to say exactly what happened. In all recent incidences, we're able to identify who the actors are, and it has indeed helped. Introducing the new face of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA. We are charting direction for a maritime and regulating the industry for a better, bigger, and more economically stable Nigeria. Evolved to serve you better. We are Nimasa. New face, rejuvenated service. Nimasa. Changing tides in your favor.
The Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, presents the 2019 Maritime Industry Stakeholders Awards Night. It's a night to meet the maritime stars. Date, Saturday, 18th January, in the venue, the Grand Ballroom, Eco Hotels, Lagos. Red carpet starts from 5 p.m. The 2018 Maritime Industry Awards Night is big. This year, it will be bigger. Admission is strictly by invitation. For some time now, we've been telling you about the Nimasa Maritime Industry Awards. Ooh. Last year's own. <laughs> Let me not exaggerate. I'm sure we've given you enough of that already. This year's own is just for some of us tomorrow. Some will be seeing it after. As I've always promised you, we'll be bringing you updates on that event later on on the show. But right now, let's hear directly from the DG Nimasa. He'll be sharing with us what we are to expect from that grand evening. That day, we will not only recognize and appreciate our stars, industry, and those who have contributed to the phenomenal growth of Nimasa. On that day, we will take people momentarily to the maritime outer space to see the future of the maritime industry in Nigeria. And the ultimate end is to get all hands to be on deck to place Nigeria where this country should be in the maritime sector. We've got the numerous potentials, we've got smart people, and we've got people who are ready to do great things. All we need is the active collaboration uh, that is required for us to have a leap in the maritime space. There are eight categories of merit awards to stakeholders, and they include most compliant ISPS offshore and onshore facility, best terminal and jetty operator, best shipping company in marine environment management, and the best maritime training institution. The four other categories are company with largest combined tonnage, best maritime financing bank, best cabotage operator of the year, and the overall shipping company of the year 2019. So you've heard all the categories, but it's not just for stakeholders to be awarded uh, with prizes or whatever. No, it's also for members of staff because it's mainly about the members of staff of the MASA to celebrate hard work, celebrate excellence, and even more. You get to see all that also sharing high points or highlights from the award ceremony with you, subsequent editions of the program. I have to go now, but I'll be leaving you as usual with some high points from the last words, just to keep you abreast with some of the things we'll be enjoying and experiencing tomorrow. My name is Cordelia Obe. Take care of yourselves. And remember, that 2020 has a lot of opportunities. Keep yourself open. You never can tell where it will be coming from. Bye -bye. This is a way of showing that, okay, we, we love you. We want to tell you that uh, we are taking care of you. This is NTA International. Exotic land of rainbow. A giant in the sun. Rich in human and natural resources. A land of cultural diversity for tourist appreciation. Nigeria occupies 923,766 square kilometers, accommodating over 250 indigenous lands. It is a wonderful environment for leisure and business. Nigeria, 
land of milk and honey, a paradise for tourists. NTAI has gone mobile. Catch your favorite programs anywhere in the world by going to Play Store on Android. on iOS. Search for Vision TV UK, download and install. channel where you watch just now don't work no panic you can see me panic you go do it by yourself like abc oh yeah press the menu button on top of your remote scroll up and down till you see information central then press ok mm, press ok check the signal strength and quality if the signal strength and quality pass 70 make you press the exit button go back go advanced options then choose installation then go to reset and press ok yeah, press ok yeah. Wow, now you say fit catch all those channels with one meal through by yourself. <laughs> yes, make your groove for no loss. You see, as I do, I'm a bit. Hmm? See, as I do, I'm. Go TV, live it, love it. <laughs> and I see, as we do, I'm. Welcome to Nigeria. A fascinating country. Take a trip through one of the most beautiful places on earth. A journey of discovery. A unique opportunity to get in touch with unspoiled nature. Enjoy your time in a place that offers something for everyone. A land of beautiful contrast. Experience you won't forget.